this needs to stop. Pipeline's got to be shut down. One, two, three. All across this planet, a movement is rising up. A movement to keep fossil fuels where they belong, in the ground. This movement, it started with the youth. Nobody knows that. It started with us. <laughs> Energy transfer partners, I have a message for you. A message from my people. It's a message of peace. For thousands of years, my people have been fighting to protect this land, protect the water. Our home has been stolen from us. Populated, damaged, raped, abused. We run! We run! We ran here because our lives were in danger. I ran here with nothing but women and children and Uchis, grandmothers, and young men. That pipeline's going to crisscross the Missouri in many places and other waterways that dump into the Missouri and the Mississippi. It'll only take two hours for the oil spill to get into our water intake and there will be no warning for us. There'll be no warning for my people. They said our people were willing to be sacrificed. They said our children. They do not realize how this is going to impact your people. It would have the same impact as adding 30 new coal plants. Right now, there are 5,000 people in Standing Rock and growing by the day, all willing to lay down their lives to protect our water, all willing to say no, all willing to stand up to the government. The future of energy in this country is not more oil, it is not more pipelines, it is not more carbon emissions. It is the transformation of our energy system away from oil, away from pipelines. It's not just a Native American issue. It's not just an indigenous problem. It's an American problem. It's a Canadian problem. It's an everybody problem. This is a struggle that impacts every person on this planet. Climate change is real. It is caused by human activity. And if we don't get our act together, the planet that we will be leaving our children and grandchildren will not be a habitable or a livable planet. We must not allow that. They're fighting over water. They're fighting over land. The wars that will be fought on this planet will not be over oil, they will be over water. We've got to protect our water resources. The pipeline company is refusing to halt its construction while a new review takes place. Administration action is needed. That is why I am calling on President Obama today to ensure that this pipeline gets a full environmental and cultural impact analysis. If you say you respect indigenous rights, reject the pipeline. If you're serious about your climate legacy, it's time for real climate leadership. If you say that you believe in a world where our children have air to breathe, water to drink, and a planet to live out our lives upon, reject the pipeline. You came to Cannonball, North Dakota. You held our babies. You held our future. And now you're standing in silence as we're asking your help. You told the people if they wanted help to ask for it. Now we're screaming it. This is a tough fight. And at times, the climate crisis can be just too hard to look at. But on days like today, we have a new kind of hope. My allegiance is to my mother earth. My allegiance is to my people. My allegiance is to you, not to oil, not to money. We're ritualizing our camp so we can stay there long term. Even if the tribes leave, even if that were to happen, which is not, even if we're the only ones there, we're still going to fight. We're fighting for our future. If you stand in silence and don't stand with us, you're standing against us. You need to stand with us, the indigenous people of this land, because this was our land first. We can't move forward without funding. Donations are welcome. are willing to lay down their lives for their water, then something's wrong.